So kata, you may remember from super polite honorific Japanese video that kata is a very polite way of saying hito or person, but it is also the kanji that you use in ho, neko yori inu no ho ga suki, like I, I prefer dogs over cats. But in this case, if you add it to the end of a verb stem, it's basically the way of doing the verb or how to do a verb. So kata has many different meanings. Isn't that just not confusing at all? So a reminder that a verb stem of a verb is just the verb in its masu form minus masu. So the way you convert a few verbs to their kata form is thus. Taberu becomes tabekata. Miru becomes mikata. Kangaeru becomes kangaekata. Tsukuru becomes tsukurikata. Aruku becomes arukikata. Utau becomes utaikata. Suru becomes shikata. Because remember, it's shimasu, drop the masu, add kata, shikata. The way of doing something. So here are some sentences with kata verbs. Ano hito no sando no tabekata omoshiroi. So tabekata, the way of eating. Uh, ano hito no sando no tabekata. So sando no tabekata, the way of eating a sandwich. Ano hito no, so that person's way of eating a sandwich. Omoshiroi. Funny. It's interesting. So the way he eats his sandwich is so funny. Gema geta no kangae kata wa machigatteru. So kangae kata, kangaeru is to think. Kangae kata is the way of thinking. Machigatteru uh, is wrong. So the way of thinking is wrong. What's way of thinking is wrong? Gema geta no. So gamer gators way of thinking is wrong. Keiki no tsukurikata oshiete. So tsukurikata, tsukuru is to make. Tsukurikata, how to make in this case. All these other sentences before were like the way of doing a verb. This is more how to do a verb. So how to make keiki. Keiki, a cake, no tsukurikata. How to make a cake, oshiete, please teach me, please show me. Teach me how to bake a cake. Moderu no arukikata naraitai. So arukikata. Aruku is to walk. Arukikata, uh, the way of walking or how to walk. Moderu no arukikata, a model's way of walking. Naraitai. I want to learn. I want to learn how to walk like a model. Ofuro no hairikata wa kantan desu yo. So hairikata. Hairu to go in. To something, hairikata, how to go into something. Ofuro, 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 the bath. Ofuro no hairikata, the way to, how to get into a bath, how to take a bath, basically. Wa kantan desu yo, it's easy. Uh, taking a bath is easy, <laughs> but literally, the way to take a bath is easy. Note that in all of these sentences, I use particle no to connect the kata verbs to their, to their objects, their nouns, even though no wouldn't necessarily be the particle that you'd ordinarily use for those clauses. Uh, note, sando no tabe kata, the way of eating a sandwich. Um, if I were just gonna say eat a sandwich, it would be sando o taberu, I'd use particle wo, because your sando is an object. Um, moderu no aruki kata, a model's way of walking, basically. Moderu ga aruku, a model walks. So particle ga, if I'm just saying the phrase a model walks, but if it's a model's way of walking, I use particle no. Moderu no arukikata. Ofuro no hairikata, the way of taking a bath, how to take a bath, versus ofuro ni hairu, take a bath, basically. You use particle ni with hairu to get into something. But if I'm talking about the way of <laughs> getting into a bath, it's no. And this is because all of these verbs, once you add the, ka the kata to them, they've basically been nounified. They're not exactly verbs anymore, they are nouns. The way of. The way itself is a noun, right? The way of running as a whole thought is a noun, it is no longer a verb. So that's why it is particle no instead of all of these other particles that you would ordinarily use with them when they're verbs. Here are some more sentences. Here's a song lyric from Fushigi Yugi. Any other old taku out there? Any other old taku? This is actually from a song I hate, Blue Eyes Blue by Nakago. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't suit him. Um, anyway, aishikata, right at the beginning. So, aisu, to love. Aishikata, how to love. Aishikata wo shiranai. 
mda. So the mda at the end is he's explaining, basically. So I don't know how to love. Ai sareta koto. So ooh, we're doing like passive voice. Ai sareru, to be loved. Ai uh, sareta, like was loved. Koto ga nai. So you may remember if it's a verb, koto ga nai, it means I've never done the verb. Um, so in this case, it's a passive verb. Ai sareta koto. Ganai kara, because I've never been loved. So I don't know how to love, and that's because I've never been loved. So sad. Pasokon de shiyo sareru kigo no yomikata o matome mashita. Yomikata, how to read, basically. So pasokon de shiyo sareru. Another passive voice. So pasokon de, in this case, particle de is with or by means of, so with a computer. Shiyo sareru, to be used by. So to be used by. A computer, basically. Kigo, uh, kigo are symbols. No yomikata. So kigo no yomikata is how to read um, the symbols. So how to read the symbols that are used on PCs. Wo matome mashita. I've I've created a guide. I've gathered um, a list of how to read the symbols that are used on PCs. Sono naka de jibun no hataraki kata ya ikikata ni tsuite kangaeta hito mo oi desu. Okay. Found this sentence on the internet. <laughs> this is actually talking about、um, how people's like、um, way of thinking has changed after lockdowns and COVID and stuff.、Um, so, sumo nakade among them, among the people that were surveyed, basically, jibun no hataraki kata. So, hataraki kata, the way they work, jibun no, the way they ones worked, ya, so etc.、Um, Ikikata, so ikiru is to live. Ikikata, the way of living. Nitsuite, so nitsuite is about, so about the way they live and the way they work and the way they do other things, etc., because we used particle ya to connect those thoughts. Kangaeta, so thought about, so they thought about nitsuite, the way they work and they live, etc. Hito mo oi des, so there were also many oi people. Who thought about、uh, the way they lived and worked? Here's a, like a title of a, of like a blog <laughs> or an opinion piece that I found. Tsukiai kata o wasureta danjo e. So this is like to, danjo e, to the men and women, basically. Tsukiai kata, so the way to date, basically, how to date. Wo wasureta, so forgot how to date. And this whole thought is being used to describe danjo. So, To the men and women who've forgotten how to date. So, asobikata, how to play. So, again, because asobikata is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so we're using p a r t i c l e no. So, this is a nounified verb, so You may remember from several lessons ago, if I'm saying I'm doing a verb and I'm ageru, it means I am doing the verb for you. But in this case, this verb agenai, so that means I am not going to do the verb for you, basically. Anata ni wa oshiete agenai. I'm not going to tell you, or I'm not going to show you, or I'm not going to teach you. I'm not going to teach you how to play this game. Nihongo no benkyo no yari kata wa anata shirai desu. So, yaru is to do, yarikata, the way of doing.、Uh, Nihongo no benkyo,、uh, the study of Japanese, no z, yarikata. So, the way to study Japanese or how to study Japanese, wa, as for that, anata shidai. So, if you say anata shidai, it means it's up to you. So, how you study Japanese is up to you. And on that note, this concludes the Nihongo Tsu series. Wow, it took over a year, but we're finally done.、Um, if you've been following me through、uh, the Japanese for Beginners series and now the Nihongo Tsu series, you have watched over 80 videos about Japanese. Wow, that's dedication.、Um, if you've been practicing and if you've been looking at other materials that cover these grammar concepts, by now you should be at a point where you can start using Japanese to learn Japanese, meaning you can pick up some manga. Especially if it's got furigana and you can start reading it. Use a dictionary for vocabulary you don't know or try to fill it in with context with your brain. 
Um, but yeah, you are at a point now where you can start to use Japanese to teach yourself Japanese. And if you want a little practice and a little examples of using Japanese to learn Japanese, you can check out my Watch Sailor Moon Learn Japanese series. I take dialogue from Sailor Moon and there's grammar in there that I have not covered in these videos and I go through one word at a time and teach grammar using Japanese. So that's another step that you can take on this channel, but I encourage you go go out there into the wild and watch some other YouTube videos by Japanese people in Japanese and see how much you can understand. Uh, thank you, really, I, I say thank you to the patrons at, at the end of these videos, but really thank you to all the patrons who have supported this series on Patreon. Really, without all the patrons who signed up for the worksheets and the study guides and all the other uh, materials, I probably wouldn't have even made this series. So uh, thank you for, for like making me do it uh, so that it'll be out on the internet and other people can get some value from it. It's not too late to support this channel and this series on Patreon. I still have a Patreon. Uh, as of the recording of this video, you can go to the Patreon and check out the various perks that you can get. Or you can also send me a tip on Ko-fi if you just wanna thank me for, for watching all these 80 videos that I've made. And maybe I'll see you in one of my Sing Study Japanese videos or my Watch Sailor Moon Learn Japanese videos. Kanbatte ne!